so it's a new day and a new bike with a new problem so this bike was working perfectly fine till two days back and then the rider realized that uh, throttle is not working so when the bike came to me first thing i observe is whenever i use the throttle there is an error so i just went into the menu and uh, check what the error code is and then i am getting the error code 9 so this is omt m3 uh, menu uh, display so let's check uh, what does error code 009 means so i'm here on the google and So now we are on the Google and now we are searching the OMT M3 manual and see what does the error code 009 means. So let's do oh, and go to the first link and then scroll. Since I already I already know where the manual is I have been drifting the manual for quite long so I know uh, the error codes are mentioned at the bottom so when you go to error code definition you will see the error code 9 it says uh, controller error so now we know uh, we have to resolve this through controller so it might be possible since we already know that uh, the error code is 009 and this represents that there is something wrong with the controller so in this bike the controller is located here in, inside this box and uh, what I think is either the controller is broken or the throttle throttle is broken and then that's why they are not able to communicate with each other in case the controller is broken I will have to change the controller as well as the display because uh, this display can communicate only with the respective controller and uh, I hopefully I will be able to use the throttle but uh, if uh, there is another possibility that only the throttle is broken and then I'll just change the throttle and then I can use the same display and the uh, controller so one more thing I wanted to test about this bike was if the paddle assist sensor is working uh, several times it happens that uh, the throttle is broken but still the paddle assist work or the paddle assist is broken and the throttle is working so here in this bike we can see the the magnetic paddle assist sensor is installed here so uh, but when i try to run the wheel the, this is not working and the wheel is quite tight so this might be uh, the reason why the throttle has stopped working uh, so from here there is one possibility that uh, when brake was loose the rider has uh, tightened the brake and because of that the wheel got jammed and there was a overload on the controller because the rider was using only the throttle and uh, because of that the controller blew uh, so this is just a possibility uh, we exactly don't know what has happened we'll just check and uh, try to fix it so now the back wheel is free and we have removed the brake pads uh, now we'll check if the paddle assist sensor is uh, working or if that is also causing a error so yeah uh, we check it and one pedal and you can see that uh, there is a error here and when we go to error code it says the error code 9 uh, which means that uh, there is a very high probability the that the controller is broken and because of that neither of the throttle or the paddle assist is working so i already tried to open the controller box but i am stuck here with one of these screw which is 
quite hard so I'm trying how to open it meanwhile I also observe that uh, the controller the place where the controller box is uh, kept it is filled with water and the yeah, meanwhile in past 10 minutes you can see how much of water has dripped down so luckily today I have uh, placed uh, this carpet just to avoid any damage to the property uh, meanwhile I have been trying to open this box uh, inside which the controller is placed I was lucky with the two screw but I was not able to open either of the screw uh, as a matter of fact I know that uh, in this kind of e-bike you can open only the three screw and uh, pivot to the fourth screw this plate uh, rotates uh, I think by the design that uh, this screw should be fixed one but it could be this screw as well so what do you think you can leave your idea in the comment section and uh, one more thing I wanted to tell that uh, meanwhile I was doing it I realized that uh, water water is dripping out of this box and it has accumulated so uh, a water damage to a controller could be another possible reason uh, because of which this uh, e-bike is not working and luckily today I am using a protective carpet uh, over the main carpet uh, just to avoid any damage to the property so I will just open it I will check and uh, see uh, what we can do finally I am able to open this box by using force I had to cut open the screw using my drill machine and now let's check what's the problem with the controller so now the controller is out we will start the diagnosis but before uh, the diagnosis we need to understand uh, basic structure of a controller how it looks and uh, what kind of wiring it has so this is a generic uh, controller uh, mostly available in most economical bikes rated for 36 volt 250 watt motor and uh, power cutoff of uh, minimum voltage 29 uh, volt and uh, maximum current of 15 ampere so in this controller you will first we need to find out uh, which one is the uh, power uh, wire so a wire which is coming directly from the battery is the power wire usually these are the two wires and whenever you plug it out the power will go off so here you can see the on display the power is there but moment I plug out power goes off so, yeah. so one more thing uh, whenever uh, you want to plug this in or plug this out always remember to uh, switch off the power from the uh, battery so now I have switched off the power from battery now I will remove it and now I will put it back so you see there is no spark so that was a mistake I did it and uh, you should not do it okay so yeah now I have switched on the battery and now the display is on okay so these two are power button uh, power cable uh, there will be one wire that will go to motor and that will be of 8 or 9 wire so in this you will see the 3 phase wire and the uh, a 6 signal wire so this is a 9 wire motor cable okay so now you will see a display wire so usually uh, a plug with uh, 5 or 6 wire is for display uh, yeah and uh, it depends on the display which display it is some display works on 4 some on 5 some on 6 and uh, then after that there are some wires usually a 2 wire this will be for brakes this will be in pair mostly so more, some controller you will see there will be one plug and this will go to two brake levers or there will be two independent wires like this and uh, then there is uh, 
pass and throttle so three wires each and one plug is for pass one plug is for throttle but uh, at the moment i don't know which wire is for the pass and which wire is for throttle so i have a method to check it but if you have a better method how i can distinguish between the pass cable and the throttle cable uh, please leave your uh, advice in the comment section uh, i'll be happy to know that uh, so right now how i am checking is uh, i'll just uh, whenever i uh, throttle so whenever i throttle you can see here whenever i throttle there is a error error code okay so i will plug plug out one and then see uh, so the moment i plug out i see a error code so i will plug it back and then i will plug the other one and now i don't have error code and when i am pressing throttle i am getting error code so it means that uh, uh, this wire is for uh, throttle and then the other wire which i have unplugged it uh, that was for the pass this one was for the pass so now the diagnosis part first i have to check uh, since i am whenever i am uh, using the throttle i am getting error code so this might be possible because of the controller or it might also possible that it is happening because of the uh, throttle so to test that what i have done is i have set my multimeter at 20 volt and uh, i am also observing the controller display and then i will check the voltage between the three wires of the three wires of the uh, throttle and see how much voltage i am getting so between these two uh, wire i am getting uh, uh, i'm getting 0. Point, 0. 0.84 volt as you can see and the other wire i am getting 4.3 volt okay i'll just yeah so this wire i'm getting 4.3 volt and i'm getting and here i'm getting 0 0.84 volt and here i'm getting 3.5 volt so what happens is whenever uh, if a throttle is working and uh, whenever we throttle then the voltage ranges from 0 0.8 volt to uh, uh, not 0 0.8 volt it ranges from 1 volt to 4 volt and uh, any on, on so this is going now that means i am connected to wrong cable i will connect to this this yeah so now this is 0 0.84 volt and when I'm, my throttle is full it's going to 3.6 uh, volt yes so this means the throttle is working so the function of throttle is to change the voltage and whenever the voltage change uh, the controller recognizes it and based on that it supplies the power to the motor so whenever i'm uh, twisting the throttle i'm getting a change of voltage so this proves that uh, my throttle is okay so very there is very high possibility that uh, this controller is broken to repair this controller i have to open the controller and check if what is the issue uh, at the as a moment i am not opening the controller and fixing it i'll just uh, replace the controller and uh, check if my e-bike is working or not so for this i have already have a spare controller and uh, first to change that first i will switch off the battery and then i will plug out everything so now i am connecting a new controller new controller to the bike First, I will connect the phase wire of the motor. And 
and then I will connect the power uh, cables. My display is already connected because I bought this controller with the display in pair and now I will connect the throttle which came with uh, this controller in pair. So, so now my new controller is plugged in. I will check uh, if my bike is working or not. So, switch on. And first thing I do is whenever you long press the bottom button here, it activates the pedestrian mode. So you can see the pedestrian mode is on here and you can see here pedestrian mode is on and then so bike is running now I'll check if my throttle is working So now you can now you can see the throttle is also working and it's working with full speed. So this means the controller is broken there. Now what I will try is uh, I'll try to use the existing uh, throttle with. Uh, this display and controller so that uh, I don't have to do much wiring and for uh, yeah so only issue one issue with uh, this controller is this controller has a different port like opposite port of what is required to connect the uh, throttle of uh, the existing one so both are same male so I need uh, a conversion so I already have some conversion from my tools and then I will connect this and then I will see if my existing throttle works yes so my existing throttle so existing throttle is also working so that means i don't need to change the throttle only only problem with uh, the spike was with the uh, controller and uh, uh, i have to change the display as well because i as i told earlier that uh, this controller and those display they communicate with each other and uh, they comes in pair so if i change the controller and i put a new controller so the new controller will not be able to communicate with the existing display so whenever i change i have to change the display and the controller but uh, if in case you know how i can use the existing display with the uh, new controller if, if there is any software or something that I can use to modify or program uh, if you know please leave a post in the comment section I will definitely follow it and uh, I'll learn about it and uh, as of now the bike I think is ready so I'll do the, finish up the wiring and uh, remove the old uh, display and old controller and put the new display and new controller I will use the existing uh, throttle and uh, yeah that's all that's all for this bike and then this bike is ready to be ready. So one thing uh, remaining in this bike is I have not tested the functioning of the paddle assist sensor and the reason behind that was the mismatching plug. So these are the plugs from the bike. This is for the uh, 
throttle and this is for the pedal assist sensor uh, in the new controller this is for the throttle and this is for the pedal assist sensor so unfortunately they are the same plug and they they will not go with each other if they would have been exchanged like this they would have gone but i tried to put the pedal assist plug with the throttle and i thought if uh, it will work or not because since both of them are three wires but uh, i got no luck however uh, i read that uh, there is some way i can use i can interchange the pass cable and the throttle cable but i don't know how to configure it so and if you know how to configure interchange the pass cable pass cable and throttle cable and still use it uh, please uh, give advice in the comment section i'll follow it in my next uh, adventure and uh, as of now what i will do is i will just cut this wire and then i will exchange it and then uh, this will match the plugs now i have uh, trimmed both the wire for the pass and the throttle and then i have interchanged their plug and then connected to the uh, new controller so now i will do the testing and if my throttle and pass both are working so i'll uh, wrap it up and then i will finish the wiring i will close the box and the bike will be ready so let's test it you can see here yeah so the pass is working now i will check with the throttle yes so throttle is also working so i'll just finish the uh, wiring the wiring is already done i'll just uh, put everything in the box and i'll just check if there is no loose connection and the bike is ready that's all Well, I, what I was thinking is if I can uh, use my existing uh, this one, this uh, display, uh, this one, this display with the uh, new controller. Uh, because earlier I have tried it several times, but it never worked. But uh, just for curiosity, I'm just thinking if uh, it works this time. So I'll just try to use it. If it works well and good if it doesn't then I will change the uh, display as well so I have uh, I'm using right now the existing uh, I'm you right now using the uh, new controller and the existing uh, display Yeah, I didn't expect that my cycle started uh, running luckily I am in endo and the bike stopped but yeah but still it could have been hazardous anyways I will come back to the work so this is my display I will tilt the bike right now so that even the uh, wheel starts it do not move and yeah so yes i have to switch on from the battery yeah so this is working uh, this is working because uh, this green wire this green wire is the wire to configure it so when you buy a controller and uh, this they say uh, self study function connect to a small green wire on the controller is self study wire so this paper came with the uh, new display i purchased it has it's the same manual so this is the manual for uh, 
G fifty one LC manual. This is the new display G G fifty one. And the other manual I was using before was OMT M three, which was online. So uh, yeah, I can use this green wire to program my uh, display with my controller. And they say you have to do it two three times and then it starts working i have done it before and i have been lucky and it worked but this time let's see how it works maybe i have to plug it and then switch off and then sound and then let me read what it says connect to a small green wire on the controller this is the you first use the set work with your motor must use self study function after you don't need it okay so how do i do it I'm also getting error and when I check the error, it says error 007. Error 007 is motor failure, means yeah, I'm not connected properly and the motor is not programmed properly. So. I'm also getting error and when I check the error, it says error 007. Error 007 is motor failure means yeah i'm not connected properly and the motor is not programmed properly so what i will do is to program this i will use my Okay, so none of my motor is connected, uh, throttle is connected. So what I will do is I will connect one of the throttle. Then switch off the display. Switch on the display. Got the controller. Got the controller. 